Hello friends, welcome to Like Minds. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use iPhone 7 Plus with VoiceOver. This video is going to be of particular importance for people with visual impairment as they will use VoiceOver which is an inbuilt screen reader at iOS. I've been using this phone that is the iPhone 6 with VoiceOver since 2015 and just since a few days I'm using iPhone 7 Plus. So let's take a look at how to use the new phone, the latest one, the iPhone 7 Plus with VoiceOver. I will begin by unlocking my phone using the Touch ID. So the phone is now unlocked and I will now turn on this VoiceOver. There are two ways which I can do this. Either I could tell Siri, the digital assistant that comes with all iOS products or I could use the home button thrice to turn on voiceover. I'm going to do the latter to turn on voiceover. Voiceover on. Clock eight. So the voiceover is now on. Let's understand voiceover enables people with vision impairment and low vision to navigate the screen independently. This is done with a number of gestures common among them being the flicks the swipes and the pinch gestures. So I'm going to use the flick gesture to navigate the screen. Now, no one ready. Calendar, sat photos, camera. So all these are the icons that we see on this home screen. Let's try and go to the end of this screen. You will notice that along with the I, the I, voiceover announcing the elements we also can hear the clicks that is to indicate that the screen is actually moving. Settings, page two of doc, safari, messages, music, music, music. There. After the music you can see uh, there's a, another noise that indicates that we are right at the end of the screen. So what I did is I actually used my index finger to move around with the icons of the screen. Now Let's see how we can do some simple gestures or simple actions with the phone. Let's try and make a call. For that I will need to find the contacts and I will do that by very quickly tapping on the phone icon. Music, messages, safari, phone. The phone icon is in my dock area. That is to the right hand side bottom of the screen. Now, what I did is I used the gesture called double tap, that is using the index finger and tapping the screen on twice. That is to indicate to voiceover to open the set icon. So now, contacts. this is the contacts field. Now, this is how I'm going to again navigate the screen. This is where I could search for particular contact. So this is my contact. Let's try and see if I can make a call here. Selected. Now Contacts. I open the contact card of Abdul. Edit button. Now I'm going to be using again my index finger Abdul. to find and until I hear the call button. Mobile message button. Call call button. Now options available. Show other options. Activate default. I could double tap on the call button and the call should be connected to the contact here. So this is how you could make a call using voiceover. Now let's see another very common feature used is text messaging. Again for that I need to go and find the messages icon. I could always do this using Siri but for the purpose of this video let's try and find the messages using the voiceover. Doc, music, messages, 200 messages. You could hear it already is saying that there are 200 messages and guess how I'm going to open this? Again double tap. Messages, edit, button, messages, to compose, search, search field. So all these are the actions that I could do in this icon. You could see that all these apps are fully accessible using voiceover. So this is the message that I've got. I could double tap and open and read this message fully or if messages are short, voiceover even otherwise reads a full message. A very quick about word about voiceover. Apple has very smartly integrated all its native applications and the entire ecosystem 
with voiceover. So now let's very quickly search for an application and launch it. For the purpose of this video, let's use the YouTube app. I have the YouTube app in my folder called social. So let's navigate to the social folder. Arrange apps. FaceTime. Double tap. Calculate podcast. Wallet. Extra items. Utility. Geo. Mock. Entertain. Social folder. Six apps. Five new items. That means it has the six applications in this. Social folder. Social. Head. Messaging. Facebook. Twitter. Facebook. Message. Social. Social. Message. Facebook. Twitter. YouTube. YouTube. Take it offline. New video from Jump. Twitter. YouTube. One new item. I'm going to be double tapping on the YouTube app. YouTube home heading. YouTube. So search. I have to find what? the search. So we can let us search for our channel that is like minds. I'm going to double search tap to activate YouTube. the search, search field yourself. and bring up the virtual keyboard on the screen. And I'm going to type like minds. Cap M. Mike. Cap K. Delete. Cap L. Selected. Cap L. Cap L O. I. I K. K. T. R E E space space M delete M M O I I I'm gonna just do a very quick check on the top of the screen to see if I have found the result. Like Mike search account like Mike like Mike Dimitri Vega like Mike full movie like Mike like Mike account tab subscriptions account like Mike like Mike Dimitri like Mike full movie like Mike song search like Mike Dimitri Vegas tomorrow land 2000 delete I close search dot K J I U I I N N November B H J K K Search Delete 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 K I M Space Dictate Space Space Like N M M K J O I I Space Search N M N N games like mines search suggestion i think this is the channel that i'm looking for like mind back button burden korea like mines trailer lighting refine button sort menu c search back button like mines eight videos 46 like mind back button this is a channel that i was looking for like this is our channel ending. Let's try and find a video and play this. Like months, informative and best videos available on the internet. Uploads, button, the making of Indian tea, Indian chai, 75 views. So I'm going to double tap and the video should start playing. Seconds, button. Video playing advertising. Listen to the best of Sean, only on with Music App. It's done now. So friends, we saw how voiceover can be an effective tool for people with vision impairment to use all iOS products. So this was a very short video to see how voiceover can be an effective tool for applications to use the Apple products. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and share the video. Thank you so much for watching and if you need further assistance on how to use voiceover, Feel free to reach out and update your comments. Thank you.